Hello, and I'm so glad that you're joining me for our letter of the day video. This one was probably one of my favorites. Today, R is for race. I have some great ideas, and I might even demonstrate some of them for you today, too. So the first thing that we did was we decorated the letter R to look like a road. And then if you want to, you can take a Hot Wheel car and you can practice that letter R just by rolling your Hot Wheel car along. So that's great for letter recognition and even practice kind of like handwriting practice, but you're writing with your, let, with your little car that's going around the letter. So next, um, we talked about the sound that letter R makes. Well, we practice writing letter R, and R is just a one and a bubble and a slide, and the little R looks like a rainbow. It's just a little one, and then you come over like a rainbow. I have other videos where I've done letter R for handwriting. Just go check any of those out. But um, we did something fun for the letter sound. So we, I told the kids that letter R makes this sound rrr, rrr, rrr. so you have to take your top teeth and put them on your bottom lip rrr, rrr, rrr. it sounds kind of like we're firing up a race car so let's put your key in the ignition and say rrr, 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 and get in your race car why don't we drive our race cars over to the racetrack and have a race right now so here we are outside on the racetrack. Do you want to have a race with me? All our friends and family are watching and they're going to cheer us on. All right, so let's get in our race cars. Are you ready? We're going to start our engines. What does letter R say? Three, two, one, go. What does R say? I see a curve. I see a curve coming up right there. So let's turn everybody. I see another curve coming up. You ready? What does R say? We're nearing the finish line. Here it comes. We did it. I think you won the race. Good job. Yay. Everybody's cheering for you. Good job. Let's head back into the classroom and we'll wrap up and I'll show you some more ideas. So we know what letter R says. Letter R says rrr, 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 like a race car. We did some blending today. And we've also been working. This is the fifth go around. If you've been joining me for this whole school year and during this fifth go around, we're adding sight words. So today's sight word was run. And I'll just show you really quickly what we do for sight words. We build the sight words using these magnets. And you can get the real magnets and do this activity if you want to at home. R, U, N, that word is run. And then we practice writing it. And I just told the kids to make that little R. We'd already practiced how to write it. So that was easy. And I told them, you have to put your finger right beside the R to kind of hold the space and then write the letter U. That helps as kids are beginning to write more than just one letter at a time so they don't squeeze all their letters or so they don't spread them out too far. Your finger makes a great placeholder. So that was our sight word for today. For math, we did something super fun. Let me show you that right now. And you can get links to all of these things and the weekly lesson plan at my website so that you can do all of these things. It's completely free so you can do these things together at home each day. So here's a little race car and we raced it around the racetrack. I'm not going to play with you right now, but I will demonstrate this for you. And let me tell you something about the cars at the top. If you cut out the little car at the top, it's going to look like it's really long and it's not going to fit on the playing board in the little spaces. But what you have to do, what you're supposed to do is fold it in half and then fold this side and that side out. I'll try to get a little closer look for you so there you go so that makes the little windows so that makes it fit so now it's not so long it's it's folded and the little window is up 
So there you go. That's that's how you make the car so it fits in the little space. And so what we did today was we took two dice and I taught how to count on. So we're going to roll the dice. OK, so take a look right here. Tell me which one of these has more dots, the red or the blue? The red has more dots. So how many dots are on the red? One, two, three, four. So we're going to start with the bigger number, four, and we're going to count on. So don't count these dots again. We know that there are four. So just keep going. Four, five, six. So four plus two is six, and we used counting on. So I'm going to see if we can move the race car six spaces. You can help me count if you want to. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's roll again. I'll demonstrate this one more time. All right, so now which one has more dots, the red or the blue? The red has more. How many are on the red? One, two, three. So start with the bigger number and we're going to count on. We're not going to count all these dots again. We know that's three. So three, four, three plus one is four. That's what counting on is. It's just starting with the bigger number and continuing to count the others. All right, so here we go. We're gonna move this race car four spaces. One, two, three, four. So you can just continue until you get all the way around the racetrack. That was our math activity for today. Um, let's see for, I did have, we did do a little music time. It was called Room, the Red Car Wins. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put the link below. It was just a fun, we just kind of raced around like this and listened to the song, gave ourselves a brain break after math. And then after that, we did some art and the story or not the story but the song talked about a red race car so i said let's make a red race car and you don't have to make a red race car it could be any color but you could paint a toilet tube and then um the next thing you can do i'm going to show you real quick is you can take the toilet tube and kind of bend it flat like that and take your scissors you might have to get a grown-up for this part and make an l shape in the toilet roll and then kind of flatten it back or roll it back out so that it's a circle again. And then the part that you cut goes up like the window. And then you can use a brad to put little wheels on. You don't have to use the brad. I made a black circle and a white circle and put that on top. You could also just glue it if you don't have brads. So you can make a little race car room for your art project today. For science, I think this was my favorite part. We learned a new word called viscosity. Can you say viscosity? I'm going to head over to the science table with you right now, and I'll tell you what viscosity means. Let's go. OK, so viscosity means how fast or slow a liquid will flow. So I have some liquids here. What is that? That's pancake syrup and I'm going to put some liquids down on this little board and we're going to see which one flows the fastest we're going to have a race so what is that what's that stuff ketchup that's ketchup so let's put some ketchup right beside the syrup okay next we'll put this stuff what is that Mustard. Let's put some mustard down. All right, next we have honey. This is honey. And I'm going to just put a little honey right here. Okay. And then last but not least, what's that? Chocolate syrup. So let's put some chocolate syrup right there. Okay, I think we're all set. So I want you to make a prediction. I'm going to lift up this board and these liquids are going to start running down and I want you to try to make a prediction. Which do you think will make it to the bottom first? 
And I'm gonna move the camera so you can see, okay? Okay, so make your guess. Which one of these liquids do you think will come in first? And you can even make second, third, fourth, fifth choices if you'd like to. All right, so here we go. Let's get ready to race. On your marks, get set, go. Let's see which one is gonna be in first place. Oh, wow, definitely the syrup is moving ahead of all the others. Did you guess syrup was gonna be first? If you did, you were right. Let's see which one is gonna be second. Oh, I think the chocolate syrup is off to a great start, but the honey is catching up quickly. And look at the ketchup, it's on the move now too. Mustard, not so much. The mustard is still above the top. Which one do you think will be second? Will it be the honey or will it be the chocolate syrup? Hmm, there they go, they're off. I think the honey is pulling ahead. Mustard, you're getting going, but you're pretty slow back there. You're gonna move on mustard. Oh, second place I think goes to the honey. Let's see which one will be third place. Third place might go to the chocolate syrup. Mustard is getting a move on now. Mustard is moving on down. Ketchup has slowed up just a little bit. Mustard is catching up to ketchup. And chocolate syrup is moving a little bit slower now, but still going. I think that the chocolate syrup might make it before the ketchup. I don't know, we'll see. Still going. Chocolate syrup, I think you're about to be in third place. All right, so what do you think is gonna be fourth place? I think the chocolate syrup made it down to the bottom. So now I think probably fourth place, would you agree, is gonna be the ketchup, ketchup is stalled. I'm gonna bump the board and see if I can get ketchup to get going again. Go ketchup, go. Fourth place, I am pretty sure is gonna go to ketchup. And then I think fifth place is gonna be mustard. Mustard, what happened to you? <laughs> so that was pretty fun. I think um, you can try this, maybe use some different liquids. The word that we learned is viscosity. Viscosity is just how fast or slow a liquid will flow. And there's ketchup. Ketchup was fourth place and mustard didn't really make it down all the way, so. Mustard, definitely fifth place. <laughs> so that was a really fun race. That was fun way to learn about viscosity too. All right, for story time today, our story is George's race car. And why don't I read that right now? George's race car. Peppa and George are visiting their grandparents. They've done all kinds of things like go sailing, play with a robot toy, visit the dinosaur museum, and feed the chickens. Now Daddy Pig has arrived and are watching television. They're all watching television together. Vroom, vroom, there's a race car show playing. Vroom, says George, he wants to play race cars. That gives Grandpa Pig an idea. Let's build George a race car, he says. They arrive at his shed. Together, they collect items to build George's race car. It's hard work. What's your favorite number, George? Asked Daddy Pig. Snort, snort, George replies. Since there were two snorts, Daddy Pig paints a big two on the car. Now it is complete. Along come Danny, Zoe, and Pedro. We'll race you three times around the garden, George, Danny says. Peppa holds up a checkered flag. Three, two, one, go, she says. George is speedy. Brrm, he wins the first lap. Brrm, he wins the second. But will he win the third? Uh-oh, one of the race car wheels has broken off. George is stuck. Don't worry, George, says Peppa. I'm the chief mechanic. I can fix it. Peppa repairs the race car's wheel. But now George is last. He feels sad. 
Peppa knows that George will never win while he is upset, so she invites Granny Pig outside. Granny Pig has an idea. She will cheer him on. Granny Pig wants to know if you want to help cheer. Let's all cheer George on. Go, George, go! You can do it! Don't give up, George! Zoom! The plan works, and George takes the lead. He races across the finish line. Peppa leaps up into the air. George did it! He won the race! Well done, George, says Peppa. You're the best race car driver in the whole world. And you've got the best chief mechanic in the whole world, too, adds Daddy Pig. Yes, that's me, says Peppa. Peppa loves race cars. Everyone loves race cars. The end. <laughs> well, I hope you've had some fun today getting some ideas for R is for race. I'll see you next time for another letter of the day ideas video. Goodbye.